do some measures to avoid that things get out of control. And I'm not talking about AGI here. People often think that AI is something which acts autonomously and which like learns autonomously, but that's, that's a myth, that's wrong. You want to know what's going on. You want to avoid hallucinations. You want to avoid prompt injection attacks. You want to avoid data le uh, leakage. Welcome to Gen AI Talks. And it's a pleasure to introduce Christian from IBM at Jitex Europe here in Berlin. And I'm curious, Christian, because, you know, so far I've done quite a few interviews with startup founders. But I'd like to know, first of all, it's a pleasure to, to speak with somebody from a you know, tech giant like IBM. We are the home of computing. We choose the big, urgent, mind-bending work that endures and shapes generations. 3,000 researchers and scientists around the globe creating the next advances on a computational technology to solve problems we couldn't solve before. We live by the scientific method. It is at the core of everything that we do. We push the boundaries of knowledge to predict things that have never even happened before. We protect the freedom to create so that we can solve complex problems. Knowing that you can take the risks, knowing that there is no boundary, understanding that you have that freedom liberates you. We operate with a backbone. We don't cut corners. We really think about the work that we do. We want to make sure it's impactful, it's responsible, it's expansive, that it's inclusive. We choose vision of our vanity. Impact beyond market cycles. We are IBM Research. This is the future built right. I would like to know, what does IBM, or what is IBM focusing on right now when it comes to the sphere of AI? Yeah, so first of all, thanks for, for having me for this interview. Very excited. Um, so IBM is really focusing on creating business value with AI, or better said, to enable our clients to create business value. So our AI solutions, you know, they're not about like creating fancy poems about my cat. So they are meant to be used in business processes. So they have to be secure, they have to be scalable, they have to be trusted. So and that's what IBM focusing on. Is there something that IBM is able to uh, provide that's different than perhaps some smaller AI companies or startups is? Yes. So first of all, of course, uh, we have also on our cloud platform the infrastructure to really deliver AI at scale and also to deliver uh, big models. But I think one big differentiator is that we think AI in a very holistic picture. So we really start with the data, with the data sources. Then we go to data integration, data security, curating the data, because AI is nothing without data, right? And if you see in the large language models, they are out there. Every data which is publicly available on the internet is already included. And only less than 1% of enterprise data is included. So that's why we think it's very important to have also a data strategy. And then what we bring also to the table is AI governance. Because if you want to use AI in businesses or maybe in very regulated uh, industries or even government, you have to have very high security standards. You, you want to know what's going on. You want to avoid hallucinations. You want to avoid prompt injection attacks. You want to avoid data le uh, leakage. You really want to know what's going on. And that's why we integrate a full governance layer on all our solutions. And our platform is open. We know there's lots of innovation going on in the open source space as well. IBM is also providing to the open source innovations for various frameworks. That's why we have open platforms where companies can bring their solutions where we can bring open source tools, but in a transparent, scalable and secure way so that you can really create business value with the AI. I'm curious, you as an AI engineer, yes, is there a particular trend right now in the world of AI that excites you on a personal level? Yeah, so like everybody else, I'm very excited about the Gen AI. Yeah. Because what, what we have seen so far is with the rise of Gen AI, everybody was like, wow, 
what are we able to do? We can like create text which is so good it, it would have been written by a human. But what have we done with it? Now we, we improved the way how people interact with AI systems. They can interact with their own natural language with a huge improvement. Yeah. And now the next step is that we actually use the reasoning capability of AI to let AI structure the solution plan, which is going to take for various tasks. And I think this unlocks a whole new potential um, and will change the way we work today. Um, and I'm very excited to see uh, what the innovation will bring in the next few months or, or years. Is there something particularly out there in the, in the world of AI, a myth, let's call it, yes. that a lot of people believe but you think they shouldn't. You think that it's not yes. really true. What is it? So one thing, when I talk with people about AI or even with clients, they ask me, oh, and if I then have a conversation, the AI learns, is that right? Mm -hmm. And I say, no. Um, people often think that AI is something which acts autonomously and which like learns autonomously, but that's, that's a myth, that's wrong. You have to have retraining cycles. What you can do is you, you gather feedback of the of the people and you have seen in many applications there's this thumbs up thumbs down button and if you click it this information is stored and is then used for retraining but Absolutely. we have to have to retraining cycles um, and ai is not so autonomous as it seems what do you think in the future i mean are, are we en route to a future where ai is going to be able to do things autonomously yes, yes. so when we improve all these reasoning capabilities and planning capabilities of AI models and we, when we actually give um, AI agents tools mm -hmm. and maybe even give it a tool to perform retraining and to get even more information from the internet or from other sources and then perform this retraining autonomously, I think that's the point uh, where it becomes really interesting and where we should also really do some measures to avoid that things get out of control. And I'm not talking about AGI here, which is another very interesting thing, but I think that's, that's also the thing where we need to have some kind of control what's going on um, to be able to benefit from the AI solutions and uh, not create something what we actually don't want maybe. Where do you see the industry and IBM within that AI industry, let's say in the next two years, because we know that AI landscape is shifting constantly. So we're not talking about in five years, but let's say in two years. Yes. So that's hard to predict because as I said, everything is moving so fast. Um, but I really think that um, the adoption of agentic AI will be a thing for the next years to come. And we have also, um, now position an agentic AI platform, which is called What's Next Orchestrate, where you can leverage the agents and really create business value. And that's a thing which we are going to expand. And I think we are also going to see that um, AI is infused in more and more business processes and uh, our interactions will be based with AI. When I think about things like DeepSeek, they really showed that you can um, lower the token costs dramatically. Um, and that means the cheaper it becomes, the more the adoption will increase. So, and, and I would I would say we will have lots of more interaction with AI uh, everywhere in the next three years. And but in the back end, uh, I think there will be yeah maybe our technologies, maybe from other vendors, but the adoption will increase definitely. Christian, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for sharing uh, everything and wishing you the best of luck uh, on these remaining days at the conference. Thank you very much for the interview. We enjoyed it very much and have a great day here. Thank you very much. Big thanks to our friends at IBM. Go check them out. Big ideas, real tools, bold moves. That's what Gen AI Talks is all about. Don't miss what's next. Subscribe and explore more in our Gen AI community.